Welcome to an explanatory video on how to use the Scylla Interpreter IDE to quickly test contracts written in Scylla. But before we start, let us familiarize ourselves with the basic structure of a Scylla contract using a simple Hello World contract that comes packaged with the Scylla IDE. Any Scylla contract has three basic parts. The first part is what is referred to as the library. Library contains functions that are purely mathematical. For instance, a library may contain global constants as in the Hello World contract, or some mathematical functions to compute, say, n of two Boolean values. The second part of the contract contains the immutable and mutable variables. Immutable variables are those that get initialized at the time of the contract creation. Once initialized, their values cannot be changed. Hello World has one immutable variable named owner. Mutable variables, on the other hand, are those whose value will change even after the contract has been created. Hello World has one mutable variable named welcome message. Values of mutable and immutable variables together define the state of a contract. The third and last part of the contract defines transitions. You may consider transitions as functions that change the value of mutable variables and can communicate with other contracts. Hello World contract has two transitions, namely set hello and get hello. The first transition set hello takes a string as an input and checks whether the caller is the owner. Recall that the owner is an immutable variable whose value is determined when the contract is deployed. If the caller is the owner, then the transition sets the value of the mutable variable welcome message to that of the input string and returns a success code. If the caller is not the owner, then the welcome message remains unchanged and the transition returns a failure code. The second transition, get hello, can be called by anyone. The transition simply sends out a message to the caller with the current value of the mutable variable welcome message. The Scylla interpreter IDE comes as a standalone interpreter that does not interact with the blockchain. Hence, it does not maintain a persistent state and is not aware of the current contract state and blockchain-wide parameters such as the current block number. Therefore, in order to run the interpreter, a user needs to provide several inputs in the form of JSON files to mimic certain inputs, for instance, the current contract and blockchain state. The Scylla interpreter generally expects four JSON files. This includes the init JSON, blockchain JSON, state JSON, and message JSON. Let's go through each JSON files to familiarize ourselves with the inner workings of the Scylla interpreter. The init JSON file contains the value of the immutable variables. Since Hello World has only one immutable variable, which is the owner, this file informs the interpreter about the value to which the owner has been initialized to. In this case, it will be of type address, and the value is the address of the owner. The blockchain JSON file contains the value of the blockchain parameters, such as the current block number, this case will be set to the block height of 100. The state JSON file contains the current value of the mutable variables. It mimics the current state of the contract before the invocation of a transition. For Hello World, the file contains the information of the current value of the welcome message. In this case, it has the value Hello World. Last but not least, the message JSON file contains the information of which transition of the contract to invoke and the input parameters to be passed to the contract. It includes a tag which is the name of the transition in the contract to be invoked. In this case, it will be set hello. The amount of zero to be sent to invoke this transition, in this case will be set to zero. The sender's address, in this case will be set to be same as the owner. And the parameters to be sent to the contract, in this case will be message of type string and value Zilliqa. There are two actions involved in a smart contract development. One will be to create a new contract, and second will be to invoke an existing contract. To mimic the interactions as mentioned previously, the interpreter has to be submitted with different JSON files, and the required files differs for creating new contracts and invoking existing contracts. In order to create a new contract, the state JSON and the message JSON are not needed as the contract does not exist theoretically. For invoking contracts, all JSON files have to be present. Let us first start by creating our very own Hello World contract. 
To deploy a contract, you have first have to check it for fasting error. Once the code fasting is successful, you could run the contract. Please note for future releases, checking for static type safety will be included in the Scylla IDE. So in this case, the state and the message JSON files are left empty, while the init and blockchain JSON files contain some values. Once the interpreter is invoked, it returns an output in the form of the JSON file. Any output from the interpreter has two parts. The first part is the message part that contains the information of the next contract to be invoked as part of the current invocations of the interpreter. Since we are simply creating a new contract, no other contracts will be invoked and hence the message field is null. The second part of the output JSON contains the contract state. This is again empty as we are only creating a contract right now. After creating a contract, we may now start to invoke a transition in the Hello World contract. In order to do so, we will first have to fill in the state.json file. For this example, we will simply provide an empty state with just the balance of the contract. As mentioned previously, Hello World contract has two transitions, get hello and set hello. We may start off by invoking the set hello transition first. An example message.json file to invoke the set hello transition will have the following form. With these JSON files provided, running the contract is just a few clicks away. Here is the output from the interpreter after invoking the set hello transition. The message part of the output contains several fields. The first field tag is the name of the next transition to be invoked. The second field amount is the number of native tokens to be transferred along to the next invocation. The third field recipient is the account address in which the next transition will be invoked. The last field is an array of input parameters to be passed when invoking the next transition. This will include an output message to lock the success or failure of invoking this transition. In this case, it is set to type integer and value 2, which means the invocation succeeded, as it coincides with our set hello code. And yes, the message also includes a special boolean field that reflects whether a payment to the contract was accepted or not. The state part of the output contains the end state of the contract after the set hello transition was invoked. Note that the variable welcome message is now set to the value hello world. Once you have ran the contract, you can simply copy the new state by using the copy new state button and paste it over the code found in the state.json file. This will mimic an update of the blockchain state after the caller invoked the contract. Thereafter, you can continue invoking the contract from this mutated new state and check other transitions that you may wish to invoke in the future. That is all on how the Scylla IDE works. For more information, please do check out our documentations at scylla.ritadocs.com. There are several other sample contracts that comes with the Scylla IDE, such as the crowdfunding, zoo game, and ERC20 fungible tokens like contract. You could use these sample contracts for the reference in the development of your very own smart contract, especially so for the library section of each sample contracts. Do check out on how to compute the logical end of two boolean variables in this crowdfunding contract. If there are any more questions, please do join our Gita channel at gita.im slash zilliqa slash smart contract to find out more on Scylla. Thank you and goodbye.